Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with the Retro Pocket 3 Plus and I'm going to be showing you the best settings for this emulator here. Dolphin MMJR. So, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to go through it slow and I'm going to show you the settings so the games run how they should. Right, so the first thing we need to do is go to the top and go to settings. I say I'm going to do this really slow. So I'm going to go on general here at the top. Right, so the first thing we need to change here is emulated CPU clock speed. I'm going to take this down to 60. Right, that's that done. Right, next. Sync on skip idle. We need to untick this. We've got that. Audio stretching, we need to take this. Like I say, I'm going to go through this really slow. So that on here, that, that should be right. I should double check. These ticks. Yeah. We're going to go back. And we're going to go to graphics settings, uh, video backend. First, we definitely need to, oops, sorry, we need to go for Vulcan. Shader compilation mode is the next one here. We need to change this to asynchronous. Um, compile shaders. Make sure this is ticked. Now the aspect ratio. We're going to go sixteen point nine. So click on that. Right, that's everything in there. So let's go back. Now announcements. Right, internal resolution, we're going to go 1.5 native, someone's messaging me on my phone, ignore that, right, right, what do we do next, right, there's this one here, this anisotropic filtering, Gonna go with 16 on that one. Like I say, I'm gonna go nice and slow on this. I've watched videos me before and I'm forever going back because they're going through it quite fast. Right, scaled EFB copper. I'm gonna untake that one. And um, uh, widescreen ACK. Make sure this is ticked. Now, some games, I am ticking this, some games sometimes might be a graphic blur. So go back and just take it off. You can go into the settings during the game. So, but I am going to take that one. Run the axe next. Right. So the next one. Right, this one here. D 
prefer EFB cache validation. Take that one. Texture, this one here, texture, cache, accuracy. Keep, make sure that's at low. This is, and then the last is this one here. Immediately present XFB. You need to tick that one. All the rest of these keep ticked. Right, at the top here, you'll see the disk, click on that, that saves everything. So that should be everything, that should run your games just how you want them. So let's have a quick look at a couple of games with these settings. Remember put in the comments if you if you do hit any kind of snags you know if there's any faults just just comment and i will get back to you but as far as i have more with these settings and for me these are definitely the best settings for this emulator right don't forget also hit that subscribe because i'll be doing all kinds of emulation setups so let's have a quick look at a couple of games so here we've got Mario Tennis. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from GAD Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information, scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom, data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dowsing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my cave. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button.
صدای ها آبی اینجا آدش فیدو right. I'll let you get on with it Please put in the comments If you have any kind of issues right. I'm off Thanks for watching